Oh, I hope it's working. Doesn't seem to be fucking shitting itself yet, but we'll know when we get properly in game. Alright. Let's go with the old mortal empires. There are still three things I've not gotten. I should get around to that if I've got any steam wallet left. Oh well. Let's see how I fight for the greater good. Yeah, good for you, Tyrion. I'm not interested. Light of the Asa. We've got the Alariel expansion. Supposedly quite good. Although she will get weaker over time unless I do really well. Uh let's see here. Play as the Dino George. Hey, Maz. You go a dinosaur. Oh, look at him petting his dino. That's pretty cool. I don't want to go with Marathi. She's really fucking challenging. Like, her, and her start is terrible, and the chaos spread is actually just a neg just a negative, basically later on. We will drown this world. Now. Hellebrun is really fucking cool, and still quite difficult, but her position is a lot better. Uh, but I don't- I've already got a, a playthrough of her to, like, go through. I seek my birthright. Malekith is, you know, fun in his Malekith way. <laughs> Clan Moors triumphant, yes, yes. I mean, there's the Skaven, and everyone loves the Skaven, but they're- they're difficult. Although Queek is a surprisingly, like, monstrously good kill piece. Look at that. Initial challenge, very hard. Lustria will fall to do pestilence. Lord Skrulk, the grey, uh, green monk even. Whatever the fuck he is. Plague monk. Yeah, plague monks in his team. He is really, well... Right costs are down for the pestilence scheme. I mean, that, that's good if I weren't playing Mortal Empires, maybe. And then Tretch Craven Tail, who is hilarious. This guy's real funny. You make allies with people, and then you get buffs when you break all of your diplomatic treaties. Look at that. Public order goes up when a diplomatic treaty is broken. So you declare non-aggression, uh, and then you break non-aggression, and you're... People love you for it. The eternal challenger. Fucking Wolfric, my boy. Loves loves killing giants. Fucking loves that shit. King of draws. King of draws. He's funny. I believe he plays as a roaming force instead of wait no, he does own land. Got ourselves some fucking Tomb Kangs. I don't like Cetra that much. I really don't like Kartap. Mostly because he fucking pissed in my Cheerios. Now this girl is cool. And I, I love the Monster Snakes. Necropolis Knights and Sepulchral Stalkers. The agreement breakers. I don't really want to play the agreement breakers. I'm not very good at it. And then Arkan, who was the anti tomb king out of all the tomb kings. We've got some humans we don't care about. We've got some dwarves we don't care about. We've got the only interesting person in Bretonia. I mean, there's Wurzak, he's quite funny. They're gonna do his little dance. Isabella of Ungarstein, who is apparently easy to play. But I was never a massive fan of uh, the Atrit in all the fucking everything. So should we go with, uh... Oh yeah, we've also got Mazda Mundi. Mundi 
Okay, so it's basically between uh, Alariel the Radiant, Krokgar, and High Queen Kalida. Who do you like more? Sneko Lady? Yeah, the lady like the lake is blatant, just Alfie. Okay. Alright, let's go with it. So, Mortuary Cult. Collect valuable trading goods and combine them with con canopic jars to craft magic items and legions of legend. Legions of legend being these giant fucking beasties there, and you can see it on screen. But Dino Boy? Mmm. I mean, Dino Boy also does look like a lot of fun. And all of his units are big dinosaurs. Alright, let's go with dinos. I'll do it on normal still, because I'm fucking bad at this game. Yep, and suspicious elf-like immortality. The Lady of the Lake is is so fucking obviously a wood elf witch, it's unreal. Yeah, the end of her stuff does wiggle though, that is cool. An age of eternal war is approaching, for the last defender of Jotal and his loyal followers, Velcha time holds no fear. Krokgar is an ancient scar leader who has killed countless enemies, a tally that is about to drastically increase. Sent across the world, pawned by Lord Mazdamundi, Krokgar's task is simple. He must strengthen the degrading geomantic web, and eradicate all those discordant to the great plan. He begins at the Temple of Skulls, where, no doubt, more skulls shall be offered. I don't like playing dwarves. The grudges can go get fucked. Dwarves are boring. Dwarves are boring in everything. I think dwarves are more boring than elves, and even I will admit that a lot of elves aren't massively interesting. Despite being an unabashed Alphag. The loading screens are fucking eternal in this game. They really are. Just fucking atrocious. <sighs> Why are superior dino lizard people serving a giant frog? Well, I mean, the giant frog gives them all a reason for living, and is also capable of incredible, like, soul-crushing magics. Oh, mighty Krokgar, you find yourself far from home on an expedition to the Southlands. Yet you are not alone here. Other lizard kin may be found nearby. Although their interpretation of the Great Plan may differ from yours, I advise caution. Beyond the jungles lie the barren deserts of the dead. You will find no allies here, and the mountains are not hospitable to your kind. Yet they will need to be crossed if you are to join your geomantic strands to the nodes in Lustria. Beware, too, of the living. The warm bloods that dwell in these lands make constant war upon one another and will be hostile to your cohorts also build your strength all right great okay how they play the last event is geomantic web my settlements are linked by an unseen network of power that spans the world by increasing the power of the geomantic web in a province a lizard infection can increase the potency of any commandments issued there Spawning pools of lustre will occasionally bring forth an especially gifted set of warriors, which may be recruited once the special mission is completed. Alright. Occupy, loot, or raise, or sack different settlements. 
Okay. Now then. We're already at war with Clan Mordkin. And that ruin is probably actually Skaven land. So let's commence the fucking... Gather dinos, Zerg Rush, win. Indeed. Alright. Uh, let's see here. We really do want some fucking shields, uh, shield warriors. We want... In fact, do we want shield warriors? We might just want base warriors, but shield spears. And then eventually fucking scar veterans, which are incredible. Uh, let's see here. We have a resource, which does growth, and that's pretty amazing. It's really good, actually. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. Alright. Uh... I mean, skinks are amazing. Skinks are better than our, uh, any kind of, like, mounted beasts in a lot of cases. Uh, let's see here. Unlocks the Tablet of Spawning. I don't know what that is. Tablet of Spawning. Research it. Recruitment cost goes down for skinks and chameleons. Okay. Skink Favelis. That's income. And the Old One Monument for Order. So the favelas and the foraging camp are best put in smaller buildings because they only go up to rank three. Oh, I like the layout of these buildings. You can there are monsters that come at rank three that are just exclusively only rank three, so I don't have to build cold ones in my main city. But for now, that growth. That growth is a big deal. Alright, research. What the fuck? Uh, I don't know how it works. Alright. Okay, so I need these tablets, actually, to do the thing. So I'm immediately going to get this tablet, and it will let me do... Weapons, mass crafting. Oh my god, what the fuck? So I need a scrying pool, a shrine of the old ones, and a geomantic pylon. If I want to interpret the old ones' meaning. And I need all these tablets here to progress towards these so that I can take their steps downwards. And then progress that- God, what the fucking- this is such weird progression. Okay. Alright, fine. See, the geomantic web goes off in this direction and this direction, so... Mm. Strength of the web affects the power of commandments issued across a territory. Maybe linked to another of equal or higher strength for its maximum potential. The color of the rings around settlements indicate the current strength of the web there. The false ring indicates they are not operating at its maximum potential strength. Upgrade the strength of the web in nearby settlements in this case. I don't know how to upgrade the web, though. Uh, we start with, like, a bunch of money and immediately into a fight. Instantly recruit lizardmen. Alright, let's go with the... Oh, I don't have any lessons warnings. Boo. Uh, after completing a mission. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's get in a fight. Or you can run, fucko. But you can't hide. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, hide the fucking web again. <laughs> Fuck you, Ratter! Oh, I'm not even gonna fucking bother. It's not worth the load screens. <laughs> let's see here. Sacrifice to Sotek. The unit experience. I mean, getting early experience on the dinosaurs and the cold ones is good. I don't start- I, like, literally my only good starting unit is the fucking Feral Stegodon and the Spear Riders. And even the Spear Riders are cheap. Let's see here. Unit replenishment? No. Ah, fuck, I guess. I'm just going to sacrifice. Sure. What do I get for it? Nothing. He didn't have any loot on him. Root Marcher. And let's see here. 
I think I want some early recruitment down, or I want to go into early buffs for Saurus units, because it's very melee heavy. By the way, there is a mod on that doubles just oh, the skill points. Yeah. Shh. Shush, Krokka. There is a mod in place that is doubling the skill points I gain, and enemies as well. Like, everyone across the board has this buff, because I want to see heroes just be serious grade motherfuckers. Uh, God, I'm torn on picking up cheaper units. Like, that really does pay off early on. And getting into fucking draft master is just disgustingly good. But also becoming a fighter with the fighter type guy. Hmm. Income from settlements. Construction goes down. Now you pick a blessing at 10, and that boosts stats. You know what? Okay, we're gonna go with the build up your army stuff first. And try and rush to draft master, and then we'll start building for combat. Uh. Yeah, yeah, fucking chili beans. Alright, and now I know that that's gonna be a bunch of fucking skinkos, so... No, oh, I can't reach anyway. Like, I need to recruit, so I need to get back over here. Even if I march, it's not gonna do much. Oh, shit, I had a skinky. What's your fucking powers. So you embed and give scouting. You can... You're cleansing corruption of which we have none so that's, that's fine. You can steal technology. Wound heroes and block army. Ooh. Let's try and steal some fucking technology. Oh wait, no. Scout runes. Sure. Alright. Steel technology! Oh, because you discovered it, you can't do it this turn? Oh, it leveled you, actually. Cool. Uh, ooh, magic item drop is better. Uh, steel technology improves. Wounding people is better. Success goes up, and action cost goes down. Let's go with one in that, and one in a spell, because Skink Priests are cool. Alright, yeah, you're out of uh, movement. Okay. God, even when I speed this up, it just takes a while. My poor computer is not cut out for this. Let me know if it's just a fucking laggy shit show, by the way. And if so, then I'll just have to swap out to Darkest Dungeon. Like, the game on my end isn't lagging, but that doesn't mean the encoding isn't. Well, I'm not getting encoding warnings either, so there might be a connection thing if I'm dropping any frames? It's hard to say. My computer's actually running okay right now. Alright, so what's in this place? What's their garrison? Their garrison is... Scan rats, Claven Skaven slaves. A whole 210 minutes? I can deal with that. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that I can, uh... Yeah, we'll embed for scouting. And we'll attack. Uh, Alright, let's do a fight. The turns are intensive. Okay. If it's only during the turn clip over, then I don't mind. An army is always led by a lord. 
We're against Scalpite the Fabricator, and he's just a garrison because we killed the actual Lord there. Now, there are things to be careful of with Lizard Boy armies, and that's that when you lose fucking control of them and they go kill crazy. Yeah, he's got fucking shod. The only things that are good are these fucking runners. Uh... Oh, blooded. Replenish their hit points, but reduce their stats. Interesting. So if I pull a unit out, I can heal them. Actually, aren't these guys, like, already injured? But in Oh, no, they haven't lost health. They're at full strength. Uh, just start deployment. And like, what have you got? Harmonic Convergence. Uh, alright. Uh, da, da, da. Now, Feral Stegodons, I believe, are... ranged artillery? Uh, 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 uh. No, these are, these are not the ones with cannons strapped to their backs. That's a shame, because those guys are dope. Alright, so we want our riders over here. Uh, Saurus Warrior Spear Shields. Honestly, Skink Javelins can fucking hang out with these guys and run around. In fact... No, wait. we'll have both of them as strikers on the other side. Uh, and Feral Steggy here. And Warriors. Uh, and Bosses in range. Uh, that works for me. Alright, so what are we dealing with here? <laughs> the bosses on the clan rats and not the runners? That's fucking sad. We're gonna kill their leader basically immediately. Uh, let's get into the trees over here then. up a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we can get away with a bit of a hit and run. All the night runners. Let's see here. Gold bun. Yeah, that was right. You don't have any special powers. You also have cold blooded. Interesting. Alright. So, you. 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 And then charge him from the sides. Okay. Easy peasy. And we will convergence on the Saurus Warriors. Mm. In fact, we'll heal them and you heal them. 
Cold ones charge. We'll get on the night runners in a moment. In fact, we get on those night runners. Man, it said this fight was way closer than it actually was. Let's just break them. Break them. Get these guys in here. Make sure that these break. Charge! Go, Feral! Steggy! Fuck him up! Go on, buddy! Give him a fucking chasey! Come oh, on, we won this. Give in already. Fuck up these night runners before anything rallies. Charge! <laughs> they tried to rally and immediately broke again. Alright, there you go. Fucking easy. Let's just speed this along. Because these fuckers can run forever. There we go, they broke. Decisive victory. I lost a whole four units. Look at that. I love how much their numbers are so important because mine just decimate. I deployed 259 to his 460. And although I won decisively, I didn't actually even kill half the units. They were all just broken. The fucking shit. Now, they're really scary Skaven units, and their heroes are amazing, but, like, normal fucking guys? A bunch of clan rats? No, it's easy. Clan rats and Skaven slaves are walkovers. Superior crop lizard man leader crop guard. Absolutely. I like Big Dino and his big dino friends. I imagine Master Mundi is a lot more fun for the Vortex mission than Croc Gar though. Because he gets to do those dope fucking rituals. <sighs> the leisurely load times of this game. I wonder if we'll get any cool loot. Is there a DD and d later today? Should be. It should be the last episode of Urban Arcana, at least this season of it. But it'll be quite a late start, so I decided to stream games beforehand. Oh, God, that's such a long load. Uh, Alright, we'll loot and occupy. Uh, we destroyed whatever building one was, and that's fine, because it probably would have ended up being something we didn't give a shit about. Wait, I'm not playing Dark Elves. There's no point in me fucking loot occupying. I spend it all repairing it. Ah, my dad guess. Okay. Now let's see here. We wanted the foraging camp so we could get the Tablet of Spawning. We also want the Tablet of Crafts. And the, the Serpent Coast is really attackable. Uh, and the Cursed... God, look how far away all my fucking land is. Holy shit. Alright. We'll start with... Something that gives me a Tablet. Uh, you'll be fine. You literally regenerate completely. Uh, we get local recruitment, and we'll go with the warriors because we want our spears to be saved for shields. 
God, our units are expensive as fuck in the initial purchase. Holy shit. Uh, let's take those away again because I'm about to reduce the cost of them by two. There we go. Let's just close that and then we'll hit recruit again. There we go. 638. Much more reasonable. How many expansions do I have for this game? Um, most of them I'm lacking Warhammer 1 expansions. Uh, I don't have Wood Elves or Call of the Beastmen or Planes of Chaos or whatever it is. Look, there's some big piggos there. What's up, piggos? Do clicking on you give me anything, maybe? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Ah, oh, the old laggy rotator then turn. There we go. Oh, Rakdok also went up in rank. Good job, Rakdok. Okay. Hero action downs might be good. Scouting is also really good, and getting a spell is really good. Oh, it's tough choices. Disrupt unit formations and multiple. That's really nice. Oh wait, that'll really fuck up a bunch of... Good against armor and artillery. No, we won't be facing any of that for a while. We don't need to weaken them, they have no core pieces. Roiling skies might be nice. Just slow everything the fuck down and reduce its defense. Target if flying. Oh, it's only against creatures that fly and we don't go up against any of them. Alright, we'll start with the wind blast so we can smack some guys around. And we'll take our scouting so that we can get some fucking magic weapons and shit. Now then, what I want to do is save up a lot of uh, conquest money. Um... The livestock pens. Might as well level it up. Give myself even more fucking growth nice and quickly. And increase our growth some more. And that was expensive. Holy shit. So we're gonna go at a normal pace so we can hire more boys. Uh, we have another spear shield. Good. Hey, we can actually fucking research shit. So, more Saurus or... Oh, we don't have any skinks yet, so Saurus bonus it is. I can probably get like one more recruit out of my army on the way up to the Cursed Jungle before I have to fight there. Like, lizard men really fuck rats up. Like, super fucking hard. It's great. And in these early turns, I spend more time doing the fucking this thing, waiting for my turn to roll around, than I do actually playing. Because while it rotates, it won't let you do things like click your fucking buildings. Alright, let's see here. Two more for livestock pens. I don't really have lord money, as nice as it would be. It would make us too expensive. And it looks like there are only old bloods available anyway. Although we could make our own. There is a, a likewise another mod which is quite funny because it lets you buy negative traits to buy better ones, which is quite cool. Though if I do buy a custom lord, it will be so that I can send them into the ocean looking for loot. Like ships and boats and stuff that will turn into money. Because everybody loves money. I'm to say. Okay. 
uh, where is the edge of my land? I wish that I could point the camera a little bit further down. Uh, oh, it looks like my borders really do go quite far, so we can head right towards it. Get a fucking recruit in. Uh, let's see, here we got. Mm, one more shields. And let's just go with fucking more basic warriors, I think. Uh, actually, warriors with shields just have uh, are just actually better in every way. Okay, that's a pain. Now there. Yeah, the Soros units really are equal to other armies as elite units. They're expensive, and they go fucking kill crazy occasionally, which makes them suddenly a lot easier to hurt, even though they keep, they don't tend to, like, break completely. So you have to give up a bit of reliability in exchange for having good stats, but if you can make sure a battle stays in your favor, then you're going to be in a good position. Like, it's nice that the lizard men are independent-ish, just because this land over here is so fucking huge that I legitimately will need extra warriors. Look at that, it's taking three turns, and I'm here, and you know what, I'm gonna stop on the edge of this and do uh, one more round of recruiting. When I say round, I mean one more recruit, apparently. Don't want to wait for one more recruit. Will I make it in one turn if I do it this way? Maybe. That's probably worth it. You know what? Go scout these ruins while we're doing this. You have the money. Fucking fuck. So it wastes my money when I do that, by the way. That's really annoying. Alright. So it's owned by Mordkin, which we basically already knew. Will it show us their garrison, though? It will. Okay. Clan rats, scale and slaves, night runners, night runners. Again? Easy then. Fuck that noise. Let's uh, forget that and keep going. And then, yes, next turn we can fucking punch him at the jumper. And you know what? That gave you experience. Sure. Let's reduce your hero action cost both times because that was expensive. Wait, where did this fucking army come from? They're mustering. Good. If they haven't got their units yet, then I can smash them before they get them. Quite Defensive alliance? Uh, no, because if I def make a defensive alliance, you aren't going to. Uh, um, confederate with me. No, I'm going to turn it down. Uh, when you try and get someone to confederate with you, it takes into account what alliances they have to judge their power. And an alliance with me, very obviously, uh, makes it unlikely that they would confederate. Like, why would we confederate? You're already our best friends. Alright, let's... Oh, boy. That's an army of chod berries. You know what, though? He's nearly filled his entire army out with just shit. Is there anything I can do to this? I can block the army now. Uh, you know what? We will we'll recoup. 
and we'll arm up because I bet a 20 stack of me will beat the shit out of a 20 stack of his fucking shitty chod boys. Let's just take all the fucking shield, guys. Alright, and I mean, that's making money. Yeah, the best thing about the Last Defenders start zone is that there's only a single mountain pass as the standard entry to it. There's no actual beachhead to land at or port city. The only secondary means to get in is those special paths. Yeah. Fucking... That's the thing, though. Like, beast paths in this place that is fucking enormous are the most aggravating things. Like, people can just raid you all goddamn day and you will never catch them. They can raid beast path over a river or across a little ridge. Just get raided all goddamn day. Nice, my Soros just all got stronger. Let's do it again. Public order. Oh shit. Okay, you know what? We'll fight in the cursed jungle in a bit. We're gonna kill a rebellion. That's just gonna make us stronger. It's gonna be great. Let's let's get back over to I don't even know where it's gonna happen. It's gonna be one of these two places. Let's get all the way over here then. We'll march it. I mean, I don't mind if the town rebels, it just gives me fucking free- a free army to kill. That's the sweetest shit. Strange you found having the alliances with the faction. Ah, uh, okay. You know what, if they ask again, I might say yes and see if that's something they changed. Oh wait, I couldn't recruit while I was in March, that's why I didn't march last time. I'm an idiot, still. You know what, I've got two turns to population surplus and I need to save money for that anyway. So I might as well not buy any more dudes, unless I get lots of money. Oh, well maybe I do want a thing. Income. Tablet of War. And I can get to the top of the lodestone. It only costs 500 to build it. Incomes from all building. You know what? Yeah, okay. Okay. We do want that. I stand corrected. Yeah, I know. Well, both places has ni negative 92 public order. Public order is... Oh, no. It's Serpent Coast is up plus 20. This is up plus 20. Ah, there you go. Oh, no. It's up plus 20 because this team just fucking rebelled right here in front of me. Yes, it's Skaven Rebels. I love killing Skaven. Let's fuck these boinks up. Eventually. Come on, game. Hurry up. Karak Zorn and the Necrocks are fighting. Nice. Yeah, Re um, provinces rebel now, not just individual cities, which I frankly prefer. Although you don't know where the rebellion's going to crop up, I'm glad that it picked near the capital instead of the Serpent Coast. Because I can just smash it before it gets big. I'll take 51 gold of raiding in exchange for fucking them up. Bonk! Oh, it killed him instead of letting him run. X... Look at that. Look how much free experience this shit is. That was so much gold. And I got a... Look at that. That rebellion was so good for me. It was hugely... Like, gonna rank my dudes up. Jesus, I need more rebellions. Let's see here. Leadership aura, aura leadership effect goes up. Although we're one more away from draft master, which we can do right now actually. Let's go with I don't really want like any of these. I guess we'll go with ambush. Draft master. I don't have a way to piss them off properly, sadly. Alright, you're a full specialist. Your scouting just went up. Fuck yeah. And let's see here. More wind blast. Increased armor piercing. The miscast chance. Improve. 
We could start taking this. You know what? Now that he's had some time, I might actually need the Thunderbolt. All this curse and just make things shit. Ground enemies in 200 meters. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Actually, I should have probably taken Harmonic Convergence to fucking improve its stats. Take a double on harmonic convergence. That went really goddamn well. All that did was make us strong, and we can sit in our town for a singular turn. Everything is healthy, and then we go back up there and kick some fucking bins over. Let's grab ourselves some boys. Uh. We have three shields, spears, three shields, warriors, a bunch of warriors, more skinkos, cold ones. <sighs> I mean, anti-large is not as good. But... Primal instincts. What is primal instincts? When under pressure, yeah, that's it. That's where they go fucking kill crazy badass. Look at that! Hmm? Ranked up units aren't any more expensive. My units are always expensive. Or do you mean the price of these things up here? The price of these ones up here is higher is because I can get them from anywhere in the globe. Regardless of where I'm at, instead of where I am right now. But look at that. Because I just got that upgrade, I got four fucking grabs and all of them are going to come in ranked up. It's just disgustingly good to rush for that. Although now my economy is fucked. Um, yeah, turns to take turns it takes to build them. That's what he meant. Don't get me wrong, my pe my pieces are coming in with one rank up now that I've gotten that ability. Anytime I recruit with this character, they come in with one chevron. So now bringing in four fucking smash boys, and it's gonna reduce my incoming economy to like six hundred gold, maybe less. Yeah, fact economy is kind of normal in this game. Well, hopefully it's a big enough army that it will be able to carry itself through. Yep, the 20 stack maxed the fuck out. Let's get marching. Why does it show ruins again? I literally know there are Skaven there. Just a bunch of fucking boys. Will fuck with the economy piss up your pe piss off your people? Only if I go negative, but I don't want to do that because it reduces your effectiveness in a bunch of ways too. Now I want to scrub out Skaven Taint, but it's because of an event that they've caused that's apparently increasing it, which is annoying. But, you know what? As aforementioned, I don't mind if my people get pissed off. I do mind that it's fucking with my income, though. See ya. <sighs> More growth? I can do. I can afford it. I don't think I should afford it, though. My population surplus is two. You know, one more, because the population surplus I'll probably end up spending in the cursed jungle. And another turn awaits. Let's fuck these boys up. I still have a right, but I don't know. Yeah, I want rebellions, not deserters. 
A deserter gives me nothing. Rebellion gives me food for the grinder. Let's see what right we've got, because it might be dope. I don't have the money for it, actually. A Slan Mage Priest becomes available. This right will unlock after constructing the Star Chamber. This will after a Blessing Spawning Pool. I can't afford this one. Oh my god, that really is amazing if I'm going to be getting a bunch of creatures in. But there isn't- I'm saving that for a, a rainy fucking day. Okay. Let's fuck some boys up. Oh, it's like not even a fucking fight. Die. Thanks. I didn't lose a single, like, unit. Alright. And... Fuck them all up. Vameek is dead, province is mine, Clan Mordkin is erased. And, since this place has pissed everybody off, we're about to get some goddamn baddies. Fuck yeah, we're about to deal with another rebellion right after. Okay. Physical resistance, leadership aura, those both are really good. What we got here? Lightning strike, no. Upkeep reduction, ooh. Ooh, I really like upkeep reduction. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's let's do let's get me some of that shit. Let's make my army cheaper. <sighs> Lightning strike is when, say for instance, right now I'm garrisoned and someone assaults my castle. I wouldn't be able to fight them. Like, if he had, say, an army attacking my city, and then an army next to him waiting to support it, I can then jump out of my city and fuck him up, just what mano a mano, and rip him apart. Which is great, because then after that army is dead, the enemy will still probably attack you, but you get your army and the nearby castle garrison to still help you out. But at the same time, I'm not in a position where I would fight a defensive war, so... Not a big deal. Alright, let's fucking upgrade. Actually, I feel like upgrading this place to three first is better so I can spend this last slot on like a three only unit thing and income. Yeah, let's do it here. Alright, commandments. Let's see what we got here. So my Geoweb is weak. It, two, my leadership, weapon strength, recruitment cost goes down. Ooh. Ooh. Make my boys even brighter. Let's see what we got here. Alignment of order. To smite foes hitherto lurk just out of range. Chance of a plague spreading goes down. Plague's durations reduce. I mean, I'm not plagued, so I don't need to worry about that. Although plagues will brutalize you. Let's see here. Winds of magic and research. That actually might be the one to go for. Public order, growth, and income. Oh, both very good. Hmm... I really need to up my fucking web. I'm torn now. Research is good. 2% actually does add up quite a bit. Actually, it doesn't right now. I think I'm going to go with the income and public order. What have we got here for the things? Yeah, I know they're about to rebel. So we're going to get a rebellion kill. Hopefully. 
I really wanted to spawn up here, please. Ah, oh, next to the fucking Temple of Skulls again. So I'm going to get raided for a turn. That's fine, whatever. It's more shitty Skaven, spreading more shitty corruption, which is annoying, but whatever. I hit fast forward and it doesn't fucking speed up. And this game goes well, thank you, Reaper. It's only just really started. A trade agreement and they'll give me money? That's what I fucking like. Good on you, boyo. Fucking... That's that's what I was holding out for. That's what we like to see. I want them to court me. Let's see here. Born killers. The latest spawning of Soros warriors appear to be far more belligerent than any you remember. Let us not be reckless. When you fear some warriors lay into an enemy with gusto, even even when it leaves them open to attack. Even losses are part of the great plan, and further spawnings are always possible. Uh, yeah, fuck it, attack. Yeah. Raiding from the dude of whatever the fuckland. Let's get over here in the long run back. Alright, so we have to put up with an extra turn of raiding, but there's not really anything we can do about that. With the means to literally immediately upgrade this place. Great. Also, let's see here. I get some tablets, if I keep going that way with the skink development. Uh, I will do later then, Amjol. Yes. Alright, Diplomancy. So these guys, we have uh, an NAP and military access. Trading and relations are strong. Uh, see, we've got green skins we don't really like. But, if we can take this land here, we can control it pretty well. Who the fuck are Rosera? I, I don't know. Oh, this is Kazakh Zorn? What the fuck? You know what? If I get Kazakh Zorn to leave me the fuck alone for long enough and I just fight orcs. My throng stands ready. Let's get an NAP started. And then we'll go to Tequita. And we'll give you your defensive alliance. Oh no! They've actually said no. Alright, that's fine. They'll come back to me. They always come back. Alright. So Karak Zorn is actually gonna trade with us in the near future. And they like that we fucked up Arknos. They like that we fucking punch green skins. That's that's good shit. Okay. So if we murder enough green skins, Karak Zorn will like us and they will be a natural land barrier to get me getting like beasts. Fucking beast of chaos bitches just like wandering into my land. They'll die eventually, but, you know. Uh, you know what? Let's turn off... Turn off those... ...announcements. Like that. Population surplus. Excellent. It literally went up as I already built another improvement. The Temple of Skulls is going to get big fast.
It's an event that will last for a period of time, yeah. Yeah, I think I can get those dwarves to love us. Yeah, I know I'm being raided and awesome. My next research is going swimmingly. All right, table of spawning, post battle loot, or more melee. Do I just go hard into fucking Saurus? Yeah, fuck it, hard into Saurus. Let's fuck you up, Toxidon. I can't reach, seriously. Ugh. Uh, if the dwarves and the other lizardmen faction next to me start fighting, I will actually attack the lizardmen. Because I want their land for myself. And the dwarves can continue to love me. I can just turn down his off his like request for us to come fucking help him. And then I'll trade with the dwarves, and they're way better for trading. Do 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 Look, I'm aware I'm being raided still. Hey, casualty replenishment. Dope. And the Rachtok got stronger right before a fight. Uh, let's just pick up more spells for now. Fuck you up! Oh, that's not the easy fight, really. Oh my god, these guys had fucking catapults. Jeez. Uh, I don't know. I don't need the replenishment, do I? Kill him. Kill him for more buffs. Finish it. Kill him for even more buffs. Alright. Now my guys need to have a little fucking sit down in the Temple of Skulls until they're feeling better. Okay. Rank 6. Upkeep is at its lowest. Upkeep again down? Oh my god. I've never gone like full campaign effects before. Fuck it, I'll take Lightning Strike. Alright, so we're at 4,000. We need it for buying buildings. Our population surplus is literally next turn, so that's fine. This is nice. We're getting a chance to just build infrastructure right now, and no one's fucking with us. <laughs> this guy's name is Etchy. So he's arrogant. He's immune to psychological attacks, fear, and terror. That's pretty good. He's aggressive. He is strong. Wow, oh, that is pretty strong. But, an upkeep going up by 300 at, the po at this point is not good, and I don't need two armies yet. 
I'll wait until I get a mission that says get a new army. It's probably soon for all I know. And that's my population surplus. We can build up the Temple of Skulls yet more. Now my lands are actually improving and the Skaven Corruption is going away and the lack of taint is going up. Likewise for here and up there, no doubt. Not that I can view it properly, it's just a bit too far away. Oh my god, game. Hurry up. Tequata is in fact fighting Karak Zorn. Time to take fucking control of Tequata. Uh, Tia, uh, Tia Spawn Saurus Warriors? Or spawn a new hero? Ooh! Kill 500 enemies and bow? Fucking A. So tuck sin. Uh, I need a ditchy unit then. Uh, let's go with my basic boy spears. And we'll just combine them. Merge. Okay. I think it's time to start making moves on my boys in Teotihuacan. Up to the cursed jungle we go. I might actually want to invest in a second fucking army. Oh wait, no I don't because it's too expensive. Let's go... Who else? 200. Uh, income up. And we want the cursed jungle to get a defensive building and a scrying pool. Although they can actually get a fucking production. God damn it. Um. Okay. Fine. Start a production. You can do my scrying pool, I guess. I don't want to do that, really. It's hard to say. <sighs> Unlocks technology. Yeah, I need this this thing. To get the interpretation of the old one's meaning. So we'll do it there. We'll save up more money. Yep, kill hundreds of lizards and get stronger. My upkeep is nice and low. If in his next level, my upkeep drops to ridiculously low. My campaign movement goes up and everything I recruit is stronger. And enemy heroes that try and fuck with my day are more likely to get murdered. And I'm doing the quest for the revered spear of Tlanjla. Which is sick. And then the quest for the hand of gods. Okay. I could move the skink recruitment building to the Serpent Coast, but that's expensive to rebuild the whole thing. Like, it works. It works okay. I suppose it doesn't matter where the scrying pool is sat. As long as I get my defensive buildings, which I can do.
Like, my fucking leaders, Saurus, are incredibly strong. They are so, so strong. They are my whole everything. Alright. Let's see, if we stop off in the Cursed Jungle... We will get a lot of regen going. Kingdom of Beasts, we got ourselves some more surplus, which we can't afford to use. I mean, no, we, don't. we need one more before we can do it. Okay. We can upgrade our skinks, or we can start our defensive building, which I really think I should. Garrison, important. Although, growth again, maybe? Let's have a lot of skinks. I don't know. This should be fine. There is actually a reason not to move the boot to move the building. What would that be? I think I gotta break my defensive alliance this turn on my walk into the Golden Tower. Gives the settlement additional gar No, it doesn't do that in um, in uh, outposts. Uh, getting uh, creature buildings only increases the garrison in main cities, I believe. Uh, defensive alliance and money? Uh, how about no? You can confederate with me or die. I'm not even trespassing as I approach. This is so great. Uh, who leveled up? Hey, you did. And we get your last spell and evasion. Yes. Okay. Jungle's building fine. Growth there is fine. But we want more... Well, let's rank. And cast down, I suppose, and eventually we'll get more skinks when I shed some dinos. Hmm. But I also want the tablets. And we're two turns away from starting a new thing. Let's go with spawn pools. So I can do that research immediately. Prepare to become my land. You're in the way of the great plan. As told by the mighty Lord Madlamundi. Hey, who are you, other people? What the fuck is this? You're raiding what is soon to become my land. You fuck right off, Tomb King. I'll declare war twice in one turn. I don't give a fuck. Tequita, what are you doing here? Defending the Golden Tower? That's fine. I'm going to attack these raiders, I think. Right, what do you got? A bunch of shitty skeletons. Oh, it's High Queen Kalida. 
Fuck, I would way rather kill a legendary lord. Are you kidding me? Holy shit, I would rather kill a legendary lord. Liberus shall rise again. You're right, all right. What do we got going on in here? Hmm. Okay. Shall we attack? Hi, Queen Kalida. What? I can't fucking click her. I'm looking right at her. Fuck you. This is my land. Wherever you are. Fuck off. Get away from my friend's house. Wink! Get it. I think they're idiots. I think they're gonna fall for it. Uh, I'm an idiot. I built the fucking outpost in Serpent Coast instead of the Cursed Jungle. Fuck me. You know what? We'll do the spawning pool in the Temple of Skulls. I guess. Fuck. Why am I retarded? I don't need that right now. Come on, Khalid. It's not weird that I ended our non-aggression packs before walking into their lands. Their opinion with me is still improving because I declared war on their enemies. They're marching? You pussies, get back here! What the fuck is this? Come back! I'm meant to kill you! I sure hope I move quickly through these jungles. Or I can't catch her otherwise. Actually, I could use my scout to stop their movement. Yes, that's right. Stop their movement. I think I can get on top of them. Oh, Lux. Don't you fuck with me, boy. That's right. You go back to Tiatiqua. You go have a nice day. A lovely day. And also stop warring my dwarves. My boring, boring dwarves. They suffered the same crippling flaw as the VC. Weapon strength. Fuck yeah, I'll use the magic. Can you not reach to block her? For fuck's sake. Alright. March. Get back in. Or not. You can't reach. Dex. Still can't afford that one. Okay. Annoying. We also want our scrying pool. Damn it all. I hate chasing people down. It's so annoying. Tablet of War, I guess. Kill the Lord of the Army Fox. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. They do, in fact, deteriorate. Look, you... Fucking wanksicle. 
Stand still and let me fight you. Go on, set yourself to normal and attack my people. I bet you'll succeed. Wink. Come on. Come at me. Come on. Vampire counts. Oh my god. I thought I just hit fucking turn end. Did I not? No, I ain't got- I've- this army basically has none. I need some of my melee boys to die before that. She left marching stance. And she's... Conquered a- You- Wait, what? Wait, pardon me, sorry? Hold- ho 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 hold on. Hold on here. Did she just shred her fucking army strength? Capturing this building for no garrison? Seriously? Yeah, I mean, it must have been empty, but you lose people for colonizing. Where's the Bray herd? Oh boy, the fucking Bray herd. But now's my chance to attack the Glade. I have to choose. What action have you got here? Block her army? Maybe. Nah, fuck it. Alright. Die! Please. I don't reach. Are you kidding? No. Damn it, look at that. Look at how fucked her whole army is. It's... What the fuck? Her army is awful. It's just shitty skeletons. This is a walkover. But fuck, these guys need their garrison. Or the Brayhead's gonna fuck my day up. Holy shit. Like, she just occupied the settlement. It's completely fucked her army to pieces. I'm annoyed that she's run away from me and that the Brayhard's just fucking shacking around. I can only hope that Tatiqua isn't retarded and will actually just go kill them. They do. Uh, and Tomb King Skeleton... No, she can't recover the army quickly. Uh, it's barely, barely regenerating. Um, uh, Tomb Kings actually have the worst basic skeletons. They are worse than Vampire Count Skeletons. Their Tomb Guards are about as good as Clan Rat Spears. Like, their next level up of Soldier Boys. And fuck you, bitch. I will... Wait, seriously? That's it? I conquered it? <sighs> Fine, fuck you. I'll take the free experience point, but you're a Never. dickhead. They didn't have a garrison. Alright, so where's Resetra? Right there. I can take that. That's pretty easy. Well, that's Silver Host? Who the fuck is the Silver Host? Of anguish or hopelessness. <laughs> awesome. They are terrifically weak. I'm gonna fuck them all up. I'm start occupying. 
they're both super climate still. And this produces lumber or timber, whatever. No. I wonder if I could just fucking wipe her out. Alright, whatever. Renowned and feared, baby. Alright. Physical resistance. Oh wait, do we want to ride on a cold one? Wait, no, we don't have any fucking fighter stats, so no, I do not want to ride on a cold one right now. I would love to ride on a fucking Carnosaur. But a cold one is not very good. Actually, wait. A cold one is a flat bonus? Usually it reduces one of your stats. Alright. Fuck the spawning. Renowned and feared. Right on on a cold one. And you, my new warrior boy. Training action. It's experience to units serving in the parent army. Or just start making you a fighty boy. Hmm. I don't need the training. My army gets ridiculously fat immediately. Let's just start making you a monster. Weapon strength against Skaven, huh? They're still Skaven to wipe out. I mean, such a hugely specific bonus, but fuck it, sure. Alright, Tequita, you better not fuck me on this. I'm d relying on you to deal with the Brayhard. While I go kill the Tomb Kings? It's like Tomb Kings or like this tiny force of vampire counts. They have two cities. It's tough to say. I see if I were playing this chick, I would be stuck with the situation of being next to the fucking... Go away then, fine, see if I care. I bet she's hiding in Libras. I bet I can fucking take it. I bet I can fucking take Libras. Let's go take Libras. There was that Skaven clan that made peace with the orcs. Yeah, that's so weird. It was an ordeal. Deploy the ritual. Vampiric corruption, but charge bonus and speed. Uh. No. Fuck you. Your prestige grows, my lord. News of your conquest spreads far and wide. You can probably your rack more places, power sure. Is noted by even the most distant of kings and bestial lords. Hi, Libras. All right, you got a bunch of shit skeletons and a king who is also worthless. I am excited about this. That should be an easy fight. The cursed jungle is coming along fine. Serpent coast doesn't need more. The growth isn't too bad to build our surplus up, but we can wait. We're up to 9,000 gold. Hmm. I might need that second army. Hmm. I need that scrying pool, though. <sighs> oh, that takes three turns. I want an army, but I don't really have the land to do two armies. Let's go to the pool. We'll spend all this money on upgrades again.
All right, Krokgar, we're gonna fuck up some Tomb Kings, some Tom Kangs. What are they doing? They're trying to hold Libras? Are you running? They moved around a bit, but I don't think they're... It's, their army is so shit, though. I think it's just going to be a walkover. Look, I just crash. Oh my god, hurry up. The fucking turnover. Someone's got the sword of Cain. Libras, you should have stopped me while you had the chance. Their army is so shit. I feel like I'm just going to walk through this. Like, I can crush all of that. Uh, tell you what, actually, if I attack the reinforcements, they'll run, and then I attack Libras without them. <laughs> there we go, I'm not even gonna fucking bother now. Die, all of you. And all I lost was my shit spears. How was that a Pyrrhic victory? I killed 50. Hundred skeletons. My vampire count relations went up. I don't want vampire count relations. Win the following battle, revered spear of Tlanchla. Okay. Interesting. I will need an army for that. Holy shit, that's so great. Okay, global. Oh my god, that's expensive, global. Oh no, local, I can get myself some fucking skinkies. I want some fucking javelin, boys. Oh wait, I want skirmishers. This is my land now, fuckboy. With the Libras taken. Oh man, I can even repair a massive fuck off building. Let's start at level grade two. Uh, hmm. I don't know what I want. Some favets? Oh wait, resources. Spice market. Nice. Doomglade. Uh, let's get you that logging camp. Improve our trade. Seeing as we're still technically in a trade with with uh uh Citiqua. I'm playing as Krokgar uh, of the Lizards. We'll go max that out. And we will research more fucking leadership. Sure. Just flat bonuses, okay. Well, no, it called it a Pyrrhic Yeah, I mean... I guess losing three units of anything against a shit ton of crappy skeleton boys is, is bad. Oh my god, that's right, fight me and die. Goodbye. Thanks for the free experience, fuckboy. Hmm, this is the Warhammer equivalent of Total War. 
the game series that has existed since the 90s. I think the 90s. Alright, faction destroyed the court of Libras. To think I was going to play them. What do you want, Tiquita? Non-aggression pact? You know what? It's looking like I'm going to have to just kill some fucking dwarves. But I also want their land. Should I try and get them to confederate with me? And just take advantage of the free income? <sighs> you know, fuck it. I might end up fighting some dwarves later. Or I'll just let those two smash each other in the tits all game. <sighs> the free money is, is useful. I got the Piranha Blade. Nice. And I'm strict. I'm spending all this time in places with low public order, because I've just conquered them, admittedly. I spent so much time conquering places that it made me strict. <laughs> oh, looks like Tequita and Karak Zorn got along are getting along again. Good job. Alright, now we have Libras. We need Labrak and Lamia, and we still need Raestra. Where is Lamea? Over here. How tough is that? I mean, I want it gone. It's vampiric corruption in my land. Do I wrap around? I mean, I feel like if I don't start at the bottom, then my stuff's gonna get all... Like, my bins are all gonna get kicked over. I suppose I could grab Marak and go down again. Uh, you know what, fuck it. Let's go this way for now. Because it looks like the process is going to give us attrition anyway. This place only has 10% corruption. I want to take it before it gets extra shitty. And it's bringing in 420 buckaroonies. Wait, what am I- how am I already attriting? What? I didn't step over the border! Cox. That's just free damage I've given myself now. I suppose I can swap to raiding. Raid my way towards them. That might be the way to do it. Do I cancel the spice market then and give myself a set of fortress? I think I have to. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel this. Give myself a fucking wall. Uh, and you still need to become a sp Oh, I know my spawning pool is being built elsewhere. You need walls as well. Because there's beastmen somewhere. <laughs> Alright, is there a thing for reduce attrition in here? No, I don't think there is, sadly. I can get more fucking buffs for my... Saurus out of this, I suppose. Oh my god. I get a horned one. Ooh, I want to kind of want a horned one. But I also want this shit. Hmm. Mm, gives me more health to get it as well. Alright, we'll go with that. And leadership aura. Okay, you've got skill points. A weapon strength plus five, and then ten against Greenskin, Skaven, Dark Elves, Beastmen, Warherds, Chaos, and Norska. Not Tomb Kings? Alright, fuck it, whatever though. That seems good. And more armor. And you. 
No, not you. Flatok! Evasion. We can pick up more fucking spells. Although we might want missile resistance because you're a fucking wizard. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh my god, it's the Comet of Cassandora. I love the spell. So much. I don't need extra strength. I always appreciate it. Alright, what's the miscast on this? It's probably huge. The Vortex is also amazing. But I don't really have the mana to do both. Get Power Drain first. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna take some fucking Atresh. And that's just something I'll have to deal with. I could move into an encampment and heal properly, but I think I'll heal while raiding anyway. The <laughs> meteor killed the dinosaurs, but in Warhammer it's their great ally. Yes! Dino friends. Why? He's not a warm blood. Why would I fucking... No, I'm not taking a non-aggression pact, you little bitch boy. I'm about to wade through your fucking house and kick over all your goddamn bins. Alright. The Savage Blow. Many conflicts are won or lost. Charge bonus for all armies of all factions, faction wide. Nice! Just a random buff for me. Okay. Wait, I don't raid places? Can I not raid? Oh my god, I don't raid. That's annoying. I don't have a way of moving without taking attrition. That sucks. That really sucks. Alright, so we need to move only 50%. And then... Encamp. Let's see here. The rest of my lands, my glorious lands. Uh, Liberos needs its walls. Doomglade needs Recetra, which we're going to start with soon. It's a level 3 building, but I'm pretty sure we can fucking dunk it. Uh, let's see here, actually. What's my global pool like? I could get more... You know what, no, all these guys got chevrons. I don't really want to replace them. I just want them to regenerate. It's fine, I can bunny hop in encampments. In encampments. Encampments towards them and heal on the way. The Doomblade is not happy. I think it's time to give them a lord. Should we create a lord? Is now our time? Should I show off creating your own lords?
Okay. So, you make a custom. I don't have access to uh, mage priests. So, old blood. And then you can fuck with their abilities and also pick an appearance. Go with hood boy. Okay, we want zero winds of magic. Uh, we want armor. Weapon strength. Charge. Uh, fuck it, let's just get both of these. Yeah. Okay, and then we add traits. Um, we can add negative one stuff that maybe increases their cost or makes them worse at some shit. Let's see here. I want these guys to be defenders. So I don't really need ambush. I don't mind having a lower leadership aura, maybe? I don't want missile resistance down, that's lame. I like income. Physical resistance, negative 10 is hilariously shit. Like, these are not balanced out in the same way, like... Losing physical resistance is brutal. Just a flat 5 stat, not a big deal. We just take flat negatives. Alright, so at 4 we can buy some cool shit. Unit experience gain, income up, magic drop item, blah blah blah. Get a bound spell that gives you statistics but takes away your winds of magic reserve, but a bound spell doesn't cost anything. And amber spear is okay. But there's a really good resistance, so it's fucking 20%. Campaign movement, however, is really good. So 10% campaign movement is nice. Or, just ch cause fear. Just causes fear. That's so good. I might take that one. That seems like a lot of fun. Just a big scary dino. Welcome to the army, Dino D-Day. Let's get you some boys. Oh my god, it takes you two turns for all of these. That's annoying. Oh my god, it's so expensive! Alright, they're all global. That's why. Okay, no need to panic. Okay, so this buys me one turn of attrition uh, deficit. If I can hit Resetra next turn, then the evil army that spawns will instead happen next to Resetra. I think. I think that works. Okay. It's a bit of a gamble to make an expensive decision like that literally right before I need to do a fight, but we'll see. These guys will heal a chunk. Hitting Resetra will grant... Oh my god, yeah. Negative 97, so... I could back up, I could wuss out for an extra turn, and kill the army that spawns next to Doomblade. That's the safe option. Or I can say fuck it and attack Resetra. I do know that I'm injured and Resetra isn't getting any stronger. We'll take a look. See if I think I can beat it with a force that's a bit wounded. Oh no, because it's going to have walls and I don't have siege. I think I'm going to back up and fight Doomglade. I'm going to send my new boy here into my old lands so that he can make... Oh, the Sword of Canis changed hands yet again. You know what? Yeah, it's just... 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 You know what? I just realized I don't have any siege weaponry, so I cannot take Resetra's Grade 3 walls. Vampire, four crypt ghouls, four zombies, two zombies, two fellas. Like, that's easy to fight. That's fine. 
that's fine, but it's it's I have to sit there for a turn, and that means this fight will will happen with or without me. Let's get towards the cursed jungle for now. And you guys march into the Doom Glade. Next turn, some nasty monsters will appear. And then we fuck them up. But we get this regen right now, which is important. It does have wars. It's a great. It's a level 3 uh, provincial capital. Like, it's got something, right? Are those not walls? Do, does a great for capital not give it walls? Well, oh yeah, no, yeah, look, wall strength, 100%. It's got walls. It's a capital city, I'd be amazed if it didn't. All of them basically have fucking walls. Alright, so. Rebellion, kill it. And then move towards the edge again. I'm sad I can't raid them. I love running into people's houses and kicking their bins over. Ripperhorn tribe and Tia Tiqua, and then the Ripperhorn tribe got ripped out, and Tia Tiqua is making a war with the Silver Host that I'm about to fight. Look, buddy, they're my targets. If you take Raycetra, I'm destroying you. No, don't go up. Oh, it's going up now. God damn it. Public order is in fact stabilizing. Fine. Minus nine. Okay, so it was the presence of an army. Well, let's see, if I sit my boy in here, will it just stop it from fucking having a shit fit? Because that will work if that's the case. Minus eight. Ugh. Whatever. It'll do. <sighs> Set my plans back a little bit. Oh yeah, right. He's rolling in public order bonuses right now, isn't he? No, he's not. I've not got any of that. No public order shit in here. I think it's just because his army's big. Oh yeah, let's look at everyone's inventory. So you've got the Prama Blade and none of that. You're running on a Horned One. Fuck yeah. Uh, this fight ought to ensure the Master is kept cool and moist until it's time of waking. And some hibernation attendants. Bathe me, attendants. Bathe me. Ratox a fucking baller. I love how twitchy they are. Poor Titchy Skinks. Oh, right, yeah, he got the trait. Fuck, bugger. Alright, whatever. That's their turn. That's your turn. Maybe he'll go strict. I mean, I, I started with Dullard and Squishy. Poor Dino D Day. It's not very scary. Who has a thing? Liberator. Oh, Liberus. Right. That's the one that's about to flip its shit. Okay. Alright. March to Liberus. There we go. I misread things. I'm just fucking a chungus.
There they are. What have we got to deal with here? I'm hoping Tiquita don't take my fucking land, because now that I've forced myself to make friends with them, I don't want to break that fucking pact. Hurry up, game! And the sort of cane has changed hands yet again. Oop, shit. I'm back over here. Even at rebellion. I'm just jumping from fucking rebellion to rebellion right now. Am I getting attrition in my own fucking land? I am. Get in my land. I have to wait a turn before I can fight there. And Doomblade's gonna start having a fucking fight with itself. Oh my god. It's all turned into shit, guys. My lands suck. I say that, the, like, my fucking capital is gold. Uh, let's turn the Cursed Jungle into a garrison house or a skink buff pools. <gasps> Croxicores! Oh, it's gotta be fucking crocs of gauze. But money as well. Income. Recruitment costs. Trade. And I'm trading. Uh, choices. Fuck it. We'll manage. Campaign movement. Fuck absolutely yes. 100% fuck yes. I mean, I'll work on a second army when I can. Dino D-Day has to move down to the Cursed Lands, but if I'm partway move, then a rebellion starts. I'm gonna end up in a fucking fight with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware that there is an imminent rebellion. There is nothing I can do about a second rebellion cropping up. After this rebellion's done, I can rotate down and get myself a second army, but I gotta get my own local lands. I think this fucking vampire is dead too because they're making my world shitty. Just clicked out looking at shit. Oh, we attacked anyway. Fuck bugger. I win! Good job, Dino D-Day! Fuck you! Good. I'm very proud of you, Dino D-Day. Fuck yeah! You're a good boy. Yes, you are. You know what? Fuck, I'm gonna build him the same way. I really like what I did for... Krokgar. Good job, Dino D-Day. Alright, now let's kill these other fuckos. Get out my goddamn land. Dead. Easy. Dude, horn ones look cool as fuck. Look at his incredible golden armor. Move out of the way, loot gain thing. Look at that. It's super neat. Look at that. That's so good. Uh, do I kill him for experience? No, no, I actually want replenishment.
confident attacker. Because we keep winning fights. And then we'll return. There we go. Okay. Fucking attrition in my own lands is actually baffling. Let's get out and onto this border. Okay. God, that corruption is so shit. Are you capable of reducing corruption? What were your skills again? Cleanse corruption. Untaint corruption removal. Increase the amount of untainted. I'll wait till I own the area, I think. I, like, I don't want to give him up either. He's such a good piece. He's so good that it would be such a waste to give him up. Uh, fuck it. Let's get thick skin foe seeker. Krokgar. Let's see here. Still need to do the revered spear fight. But I want to conquer some land before we do that. I still haven't picked up any of the actual fight bonuses. But these things are just too fucking good. To give up. Alright. Continue to save a bit of money. So that Dino D-Day can go get his shit. Not actually, like, temporarily. You can be here. And reduce corruption. Only minus one or not, apparently. Is he already doing it? I literally cannot tell. Yeah, he is. He is increasing the amount of untainted in the local province by two. He can sit there and do that while I'm, you know, moving around anyway. From characters, local populace, but osmosis with the vampire corruption. Okay, so I definitely need a Resetra gone soon. When I've taken Resetra... I think I will do that quest battle. Or do I do it beforehand? I don't even know if it's a hard one. Now I have other choices. Like, I kind of like the idea of doing a quest battle. But this army isn't really actually what one would consider a rank 10 army. It's hard to say. I really don't know, guys. I'm really torn. I have options. Shall I do the big fancy quest battle? Or shall I try and kick some vampire bins over? Libras are just going to stay unhappy and I'll just deal with the fucking fight that happens there inevitably. You guys decide. Fight a vampire city or quest battle then fight a vampire city. It does take extra time, yeah. Defensive alliance? They want money for a defensive alliance? No! Yeah, I can take some time to recover after the quest battles with encampments as I move around. That's very true. Okay, we'll do it. Uh, leadership but casualty replenishment down? No, no, no. No, no, no. We need our casualty replenishment. Alright, get back into the army. You know what? I might be a scum and save it just in case this turns out to be the most terrible decision.
Okay. Oh boy. All right, what well, my badness? Missile resistance, uh, leader. Charge bonus, uh, feral stag. Let's do this. I think if I'm conservative, I can take this fight pretty handily, but I'm not sure. I've got some running cavalier, the cavalry even. And I've got some normal javelin boys. And I'm an unstoppable beefcake. Dark Elves block the way to the Well of Time. The fissure within from which Clanchell reaches out across the eons will only remain open so long, so Krogar must act quickly to vanquish the threat. However, the terrain is far from an open field and the Elves are notoriously cunning and difficult to bring to battle. Alright, we can do this. We've gotta believe. Believe in our dino friends. If only I had Dino D-Day here to help me. He's apparently incredible at winning in unknown situations. I'm sure I'm looking at just a black screen. Oh, it's because I'm getting ambushed. Right. Fucking Hydra? Fuck. Okay. So, we have Spear Boys. Not you. It's your normal warriors. Just fucking a shit ton of warriors. My hero ball. Along with the cold one spear rider and the sparrow stego. And then my arch boys. Oh wait, no. Uh Okay. Alright, now let's actually start figuring this out. So, spears. Let's see here. Okay. That's fine. This we can deal with. Fuck these guys up. Charge my hero ball into this legion on the side. They are running the fuck away. Alright. We'll pull out in a moment. I don't want to get caught up in these. Especially since there's apparently artillery firing down on me. Okay. Try again. God, time feels like it just shredding on me. Oh, 
Also, what the fuck is it with my cold ones just having a fucking hard time? Come on, it's fine. If it's just witch elves, I can just dunk them with one Soros Warrior shield unit each. It's fine. They're elites. They'll handle it. You guys need to get into there. 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 Shoot them. Charge. In fact, wait. There are witch elves over there. Fucking charge the witch elves, goddammit. Uh, they're all dying. That's fine. Uh, keep moving up. Charge them. You no, wait. You guys are missile infantry. Chase, chase their missile infantry. Theirs are running away more. Dodge that. Okay. Let's see here. Heal them. Time for a fucking comet. Let's slow motion things. Thunderbolt? No, no, no. Comet of Cassandra. That takes time to cast, but assuming I don't get hit by that blast, I should be okay to do it. Right, my warriors have dispatched these fucking goons. Get up there. You, get up there. Uh... Okay, and normal time. Oh, they fucking dodged it. Dickheads. Fine, chain lightning. Okay. These guys them up. You guys get in there. Killing some shades. That's fine. Nothing I can do about those bolt throwers. Luckily my units are all moving. Uh, okay. Foe Seeker. Uh, and let's... Wind blast. Those fucking guys. Charge them into there. Where's my stego? Stego. Get into these guys. Right, I need to get their dreadlord now. Alyssa! Die, Alyssa! Spears, get on the Hydra. You, into there. You, into that. Actually, you guys apparently need to. Which unit are you? Shoot them in the back. Fuck them up. Eager charging for tired. Where is their boss? Oh, fuck that artillery up first. Or not. I'll just charge her. Keeping that Hydra busy with some spears. You guys get on the Hydra as well. You guys are running too far. God, this one's fucking hard to keep up with. You get in on that. In fact, not you though. Go on, fuck them up. Go in there, taxing. Ratok needs to be very careful now. He's very hurt. Heal yourself, physician. Fleeing? No fleeing here, fuckos. Come on, Alyssa. Get over here, you dick. You shoot them again. Uh, 
God, this fucking fight is chaos. Uh, chain lightning? No. Alright, we need a spell to fuck up Alyssa. We need to slow her down and reduce her stats. You then. Go help them out before they die. Cold ones. You're in a bad way. Get out. You need healing. Who has healing left to give? You. Heal those cold ones. Alyssa. Alright. Die, Alyssa. And that's it. We went. Broke the army. Oh, that was a fucking tough one. We didn't lose a single actual army unit in that fight. They're all fucking heroes. Yeah, I did not use lose anything. It was kind of amazing. And my my army's got like huge replenishment bonuses, like actually massive replenishment bonuses. So if I climb back into a city, they are going to heal like crazy. And I think they will climb into a city so that I can start my second army. I want to get some fucking croxes. The cold ones were really close. Yeah, I pulled them out just in time. I only barely noticed. It's a shame I don't want to lose my only cavalry unit in the whole thing because they're good for running down archers. It's just that their archers shoot on the run, so just even approaching to charge them was doing me a massive disservice. Like, they'll fuck up normal archers amazingly, which is what I have them for, but I should not have charged them into elven archers. So if it weren't for the fact that it slowed my game down horrendously, I'd have had used the faction unlocker, which allows you to play as other, other factions, like miniature factions. I would love to see if there is a Black Ark faction and just play as the Boat of Doom. Because that shit would be dope. I mean... Eat them. Eat all of them for heals. We're back. Rami is, is kicking. We can march back into Doomblade. Or not. You literally cannot reach. Cool. Oh, I know. It's because there's a dude in there. Dino D-Day. Out you get, Dino. And you can go to the Cursed Jungle. Public order goes up everywhere. Bonus versus large. Everything. Charge. Melee. Weapon. Magical weapons. Whew. Okay. You got the Revered Spear. Uh, that means Taxin can have the Piranha Blade. I need to get a caster sword for my skinky boy. There isn't a faction like that? Oh, Not even in the unlocker? Okay, let's see what we got here. <gasps> ooh! Ooh, we get a rank 10 now! Okay. So, Vampire Counts and Tomb Kings is a big one. Although, picking a blessing is also good, but it will lock me out of other blessings. So, let's look over a blessing first, because I get to pick an, an, an Annihilation and a, a blessing. <laughs> okay. So, Quetzal. More health and construction time for the area I'm in income up. No, I fight and I move. Upkeep, Thesaurus, and Temple Guard, and more armor. That's very big. Speed and magic resist? Nah. Quan Chi. Ambush? No. Public order? Again, I've already got a shit ton of that. Untainted is good, but again, I don't want to hang around. I want a Roman murder. Leadership on arm. Oh, hmm. No, I don't use big monsters. I just have the scariest Saurus in the game. Let's go with them. 
the Blessing of Quetzal. And we want Obliterate the Undead. For my whole army. All the arcs are based on the right. That's a shame. Phew. Okay, buddy. Make your way to the cursed jungle. We met the vampire coast, which, you know, not a big deal. And Jlan Huapek. Who is Jlan Huapek? Who are they? Oh, that's these guys up here. Okay. I'm, I'm very proud of Dino D-Day. He did some fucking work for the people. Okay, so. Doomglade's gonna improve because my guys sat in here making it incredible. Cursed Jungle is happy and healthy. They are upgrading well. Dropping recruitment costs would be really good because I would like a good skink. And upkeep reduce. Let's go with that. We'll save the rest for army building. Hmm. Someone's channeling winds of magic in that area. I think. Oh no, it's just a just a harmless sensory effect. Just a gas cloud. Speed up! I'll do a couple more turns and then I'm gonna stop and get food and then we'll be getting ready for Urban Arcana time. Seriously, the fucking lizards have been way more fun than the Dark Elves. They're very difficult. Zlan Hapek and Slat Slan have negotiated peace. Quest issued. Construct a stone marker. Where do I do that? Stone marker. Stone marker. Tablet of war. But I already own one, don't I? Don't I own a tablet of war? Do I not? Is there really not I mean, a, a place for a tablet of war? I guess I don't own a tablet of war anywhere. Oh no, I do have a stone of war, sorry. Yeah, I've got one. Go away, dude. Oh, one of each of them. Yeah, I've got one. Go away. It's really upgraded as well. I guess I can just build one and then demolish it in another building. You know what? I'm sorry, Doomblade. You've gone through some shit. Although, how close are you to surplus? Turns until surplus 18? Shit. Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna kick down your- kick down your building! Normal stance. You normal stance. Let's see what we can get. It's been a while since we've been in the. Oh my god, that's so much. <coughs> Weapon Crafters Commune. Okay. Don't mind that part for now. So, we want. Bunch of chameleon skinks, definitely. And we'll start with the basics. Four unit spears, four unit shields. This is the way to do this.
Okay. And now you. I'm gonna move you up to here. Then I'm gonna start doing the encampment shuffle. It's a long fucking walk into the encampment. I wonder if I can get these fuckers to confederate now. I bet if I declare war on the on the vampires, their attitude will boost fucking massively. And then I'll be able to get them to confederate. If they do, I can make friends with the dwarfos again. Because I've been fucking some evil ass up. Damn it, they won't join my confederation. Uh, uh, we've still got our thing going. I'd love to be able to trade, but I can't reach them until I take that place. I'm working on it. Alright, time to start shuffling towards them, slowly, slowly, slowly. Doomblade, give me my stone marker. Oh my god, you need to be rank 2 for it. I'm still retarded. Let's just waste 800 gold on a fresh logging camp. <sighs> god damn it. These fights were tough. I don't like fighting running cavalry. <laughs> uh, missile cavalry. Like, Dark Elves in this game, Total War Warhammer, play like Dark Elves, play in the fucking actual tabletop, which is, I'm gonna run my cavalry around and you aren't going to get to play the game. I liked High Elves because they had Pegasus and dragons. Okay, it looks like I can reach. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, altar is off. Fuck you. All mine. Fuck you. Oh hey, did I get a sword for uh little ratok? You have a little biting blade? It's armor piercing. You know what? No, you don't need it. I right, like you should really give that to Dino D Day. Crocgar So you've got those bonuses. Skaven, Beastman, you got a blessing, you got this shit. I guess I start picking up his actual fighting skills now. <laughs> uh, you know what? You've got plenty of fight powers. I should probably give you more armor. Actually, no, your melee attack is shockingly low. Let's give you more of that then, so you keep hitting things. Okay. 
attacks in. You've got Foe Seeker. Your weapon strength is big. I need your actual weapon. Uh, your melee defense is shit. I should probably get that then. And your melee attack is shit. 38? Jesus, where is that? Over there. Okay. All right, our money is really bad. <laughs> but we have a monument to the old one, that's nice. And some actual fucking population growth. Count surprise. Now, my income, however, is 100. That's pretty bad. Let's move on. Now that we've at least got a squad of boiks, we need to get some levels on him. I think it's time to start making inroads. Oh yeah, commandment. Uh, local recruit. Recruitment cost down? No, not in this case. Untainted goes up. That's what we need. Really need some untainted. This place is Taintsville. See, it's annoying. I have to do the fucking encampment shuffle all the way up towards the enemy. The only plus side is that it's safe to do. They want peace already! No way, fuckboy. No way. Wait, what? Who assaulted my garrison? Raystra? Someone assaulted the garrison of Raystra. What a dick. Neither of them sa uh, assassinate. I don't think they can. No, you can wound. And you can't. Can't do it. So I just gotta let this guy fuck around, I guess. Alright, you get up to here. Wound the hero. Not very good at it. You're better at it. Wound success! Fuck you, guy! Alright, back in we go. Oh no, I can't. Okay. This is my fucking land now, fuckboy. So let's move up. Look at you go, Ratok. You are just the fucking best. <gasps> you go ride a pterodon! Yes. Welcome to the skies, Ratok. My sweet, sweet baby. Oh, and uh... give you even more size on the comet. Make that comet so much bigger. That's my fucking boy right there. That's my son. That's my son. Ammunition. I do run out of it now. Enemy hero success is reduced is not bad. Recruitment cost, not bad. Ammunition, not bad. That's a geomantic pylon. I need to build one of those soon. Um, Tablet of the Skinks. 
Enemy hero, let's see here. Action hero action cost goes down and success goes up. Diplomatic relations with high elves and lizard men. With high elves? High elves will like me? That's fucking weird. Missile damage, weapon strength. I mean, those are both really good. Recruit, recruit. Uh, hmm. You know what? I bet by the end I make it to Sequence of Civilization, I'll meet some fucking high elves who will like me because I've killed dark elves. That's how that works, right? Marak falls next. That is a good point. How did the taint change things up? A little bit. I mean, I've um, I've conquered some places, and the place I've conquered is with the champion of making places less tainty. I don't know if there's going to be, like, a place that's ready to fucking throw down in another... Oh, Liberus is about to lose its shit. Luckily, I'm sending a guy up there right now. So that's fine. It's like, I can hover over and get displays on stuff. It's so annoying that I can't click things. Enemy heroes get worse. Hero self-defense goes up. Losing 2,000 gold, but make enemy heroes shit. That's really good. Is that worth 2,000 gold, though? Oh, fuck it, sure. Okay, so, Rosera isn't losing its shit yet. Its taint is not great. Climb back into Krokgar. And that kills my ability to go forwards. That's fine, though. What's my local recruitment? Chod. And Liberas is about to go crazy. So we're going to get on the border of our own lands because it's dangerous to climb into it. I actually think I can march and reach it. But I don't want to. I want it to kind of rebel now. So I'm going to wait here on the edges. Uh, you know what? You get a local and I have some money. It's just fucking Soros. It's just shields and spears. Oh my god. Uh, that, even one of them will reduce my income a huge amount. I can't do that. No. The Lord not moved, I, I don't care. Imminent rebellion, don't care. Let's do this. Fuck up some vampires with Dino D Day. He knows what's up. Like I'm, I'm surviving off of my own rebellions. They are giving me the money necessary to necessary to stay active in this game. At the end of your turn, have an income of 5,000. Current income, 191. That's so not happening. Fuck you, guy. Bye. Good job, Dino D-Day. Munch, munch, munch. Kill him for EXP. Dead. Thanks for the shield. And then into Liberus. To recover. Yeah, 14 turns for make 5,000 income. Easy fucking peasy, am I right? Alright, Resetra is still a shitty place to be. But it's getting better. There'll be a fight there eventually. Uh, we can 
do my Doom Glade upgrade. And then let's go attack Marak. Fuck you, Marak. Oh my god, it's another walkover. Mine! Holy shit, that's not a bad claim right there. Public order bonuses are a necessity. <gasps> yes! I think there'll be a rebellion literally next turn where I'm stood. And then I get to fight another one. That's so great. Oh, I'm uh, delighted. Oh god, I've got so much here to pick from. Um... We need to get a deadly onslaught next, which means I need, like, a bunch more stuff. Let's boost that melee attack while it's magical. And then after that, we really need some fucking defense. Holy shit. I think our armor is massive. I don't know. Maybe we want just... Where is it? Blade shield? Blade shield. We'll get... Fucking our weapon strength is so fucking silly big. Okay. So we're rank 12. We are three away from riding on a Carnosaur, you guys. I am very excited to see that shit. You're doing all well, my big brave boy. Your armor is better now. Your actual defense is good. And then we need to get more melee attack. What do we want Deadly Onslaught too? Oh, there's so much cool shit in here, guys. Alright. We've maxed out Comet Cassandra. Let's reduce the miscast on it. It's basically never gonna fuck up. It'll happen quickly and be massive. I went all in on that Comet. If I really hope it doesn't cuck me. <laughs> Dino D-Day. Uh, yeah, let's reduce that recruitment cost. So Human Rebellion, don't care. End turn! Come on, place it next to Dino D-Day. It did place it next to Dino D-Day. Awesome. I got double rebellions out of that building. Holy shit. After I conquer Lamia, that land is mine. And then I can focus on consolidating the jungle again. You know, yeah, you're correct. I will eventually get cucked. It just is the way that that happens. Like, my forces are generic. It's spearmen, swordsmen, and some shootmans, and some quick shootmans, and that's it. And my other team is some spearmen and some swordsmen. Like, it's not a dynamic army. I haven't got artillery. I've got one feral stegodon, which is a shit stegodon. The crater of the walking dead is about to fucking lose its shit. So that'll be down in Rosera. So Dino D-Day is going to be busy putting down all these people. Get fucked. Oh, I lost a unit of warriors. That sucks. We shall eat you. Okay, Liberus is done. Let's get over to here and start making our way towards Resetra to kill that. And while you're here, we need to recruit again, don't we? Uh, we're down. Group of shield warriors. And again. God, I need to build like an archery place somewhere around here. Okay. Alright, so now I've got to start doing bunny hops of corruption. 51%. And... Okay. Regress. 
Marag is a sad, sad place full of sad, sad people. Its geomantic web strength is shit. You know what? I haven't looked at that in a while. But... Resetra is our first connection. Ooh. Ooh, shit, it is my first connection. Uh, where do I build a geomatic whatever the fuck? Geomatic pylon. I need to get up another rank, and then I can actually start upgrading my fucking chain strength. Oh my god. Our first actual connection. Because I don't own Tiqua. Although, to be fair, I'm surprised Tiqua hasn't picked one. It makes him stronger as well to have it. Yeah, and the connection in this direction to Lamea is terrible. Lamea is going to be a hard fight, I think. Yeah, I know there's going to be a fucking rebellion. Not a problem. Enter. Farm in this place for experience, that's all. Hey, who the fuck are you? that I'm at war with in my soon-to-be more of my lands. Who's this little beta cuck? Raiding me. Mengil's Manflayers? Attrition reduction. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Holy shit. All right. Dino D-Day, get marching. I also enjoy your level up. Untainted for the local populace. Draftmaster. Holy shit! You've got... Actually, all I can see is trash. Hmm... Move back over here. And do we risk a little bit of attrition? Oh yeah, we, we totally risk it. What did I just spend that money for if not to fuck this guy up? It's getting in the way of my ambitions. Not a fan. My income is dropping now, you little cucks. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm gonna grab sequence of scrying, I guess. You'd best fuck off, vampire boy, or I will end you. I hate how good they are at just escaping. Like, I will happily... piss off the granite massive. With its two armies, as long as I get to kill this shitlord. Go and run more into my territory, in fact. That would make me so happy. What the fuck? You dickheads! He just sacked me! He didn't even try and conquer it! Oh, fuck you, buddy. Super fuck you. You can't escape my vengeance. 
get dicked on, Count Ewald. Oh my god, I was just fucking leveling this stupid palace. Oh wait, Dino D Day, you lost. You're not supposed to lose. No, Dino D Day. No. Wait, was he wounded or killed? Killed in battle. Fuck off, stupid from cast iron shit lords. I'm sad. Lost a mighty Dino D Day. Very sad about that. Bad. I love Dino D Day. It was my favorite. We made him ourselves. Really, only any good at fucking making. Old bloods as well. We don't get slan. All right. Revenge of Dino D Day. Get rid of that winds of magic. We need to get two trait points. So we will. Take away campaign line of sight because all it does is nothing while I'm in my own land. Uh, we will keep post battle loot and increase cost 3k. I think I will do. Okay. We want campaign movement really badly. Where is it? It's like energetic or something, I think. Oh, wait, no, we want Fearbringer again, and... Where's Campaign Move? Campaign Line of Sight? No. Magic Item? No. Campaign Movement. And this time... Defense... The Defense of Dino D-Day. And you can... The same cute hat. <sighs> There's no blessed spawnings available. It's very expensive for him to even pick people up. I wonder if I just get like a bunch of shit skinks and just make an army of shit skinks. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna do it. Dino D-Day is going to be my skink lord.
How demanding is Warhammer Total War 2? I do not find it easy. But it, some people are much better at this game than I am. In fact, most people are better than me at this game. I either am aggressive at the wrong times, or at the, you know, like, the just make bad decisions, I suppose. Soon, we'll take Lamia. Then we'll rotate around and focus our attentions on retaking our own, like, the rest of our fucking land. And then we begin to sword our way through... God, are you about to beg for peace? 4,500 gold? No, that's gold I'm going to receive for murdering you! Demanding on my computer? Oh, very. Recruitment cost down for skinks, huh? Don't mind if I fucking do. <laughs> More skinks for skink lord. Oh, look how cheap they are, holy shit. Let's see here. They're just better in every way than the other ones. Look, I want to come kill this dude. Oh, he had a tomb scorpion. No wonder I had a hard time. What the, the fucking... This guy's a tomb scorpion. Jesus. I have to back off again from warring this fuck. I don't want to do that. No, I'm gonna kill him. Look at him, he's just begging for death. Mark. If I... Get this fight over with quickly and take Lamia next turn, the rebels will spawn right next to me in Lamia and I can kill them that way. That's fine. Uh, you actually, let's undo your recruitment so that I can move you up and then recruit them. And we can start heading them towards my opponent. I could have gotten some cheaper Saurus, yes, but that's not nearly as fun. It's more the up- like, it doesn't reduce the upkeep of them, and the upkeep is the big problem. Like, I'm trying to keep it low, and it's gonna keep stacking up. Oh, get back in the fucking team, my boy. Good rat talk. My fucking my my son. My son is home. <clears throat> Does it cause my fan to go into hyperventilation? I mean, a little bit. Surely your laptop just has an upper threshold of heat that it doesn't go past, though, right? In order to apply to the specs that it's got? Might keep us 5,000. Uh, no, it still feels pretty undoable. Heed the priests. Less recruitment cost again, you say? Oh my god, these fucks are actually... ...assaulting my land. Yes. 
Çok deka. Aqua Sura. Fast moving, leave get oh, they're both I oh, don't know, the don't have poison attack. That's pin and test. So skirmishes have uh you know let's just get four of them. We will approach with a skink army and try to fight Rosetta. Okay. Lamia must fall this turn. Fuck it. I don't want to load. <gasps> no way! That's not how that's supposed to go. Killed in. All of them got killed in battle. No, I'm sorry. I've got to be cheap and just, just. Just load back. I can't do. I can't face that. That's not on. I can't. I can't. I can't live with that loss. That inter terrible, terrible loss. I'm gonna go deal with that fucking raider instead and go at it with two armies. I'll bring my skink boys home and fuck them up that way. Huh? That wasn't a meme team? Krogar got wounded, but my son, Ratep, died. Of course I've just got to play out the battle, but my load times take fucking forever. <laughs> so I'm just lazy and I was about to finish up so I could go get food. Of course I haven't been saved any fucking load time. Skink- it's not a skink- the one attacking that was not a skink army. It was a fucking- it was all just Saurus. <laughs> it's literally basically only uh, Saurus boys and really just leveled up Saurus. Uh, just a meat grinder that I A-click with in-game. If I felt cheap, I could just keep re-rolling it until it succeeded. Oh no. Alright. Back down to here. To fucking kill this boy. Revenge of Dino is making his way downtown. Army will stand another day. But one day it will be mine. Start constructing. As I pass through, this place is gonna go fucking mental. It's just so many rebellions. The vampire corruption is so fucking huge. I need that last city dead or this just keeps happening. Although hopefully this should be the last time it ever happens in Reseta. So hard making these places fucking livable. What are they doing? They've and they've walked out. I could fucking run in there and kill it this time. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, I already know that happens. Thank you, game. Eat the priests. The Devil's Backbone is about to lose its shit as well. Still gotta move. To here instead. You know what, we'll take the attrition so that a rebel army just spawns there and I can kill that one too. Just fucking hunt all the rebels. Like, I give a fuck. Go on then. Into the cursed jungle with you. Recruit some more boys. Some sweet, sweet. They cost zero. They are so cheap. They cost zero. 
Wrong. I'll fucking do global recruitment. I don't give a fuck. Oh no, I won't because it takes two turns. Uh, cancel that. <laughs> they are so cheap, they literally have no cost attributed to them. It's insane. Oh, you get your own cold one to ride on, although it's not as good as a horned one, uh, and will probably just get you killed. I don't know, actually. The charge bonus is really nice. Maybe we'll do it. Fuck it. And we want a blade shield. Population surplus in two places? Uh, Cray the Walking Dead. Kingdom of Beasts. It's nearly there. I just need the gold and I can build Temple City. Holy shit. Yeah, I know that there's a rebellion coming. Fuck off. Oh, fuck, fuck. Why there? I need to go for the one that's it's besieged. I'll be back for you, Liberus. I should have just kept on passing through. Stefan, you've left your lands. Mama's fucking coming for ya. Why, hello there, army. Guess who's going to stand directly between you and escape? That's right! Krokgar! And your army yeah. is worthlessly shit. It's, I mean, you got some great weapons, but it's mostly dog shit. I mean, my pieces will be tired, but they should be fine regardless. And you guys are just going to have to be the subjugation force with your... Oh, shit. Uh, there we go. I nearly moved them too far. More free skinks. What do you mean, yes, end of the Tomb Kings? The rebellion force back there is Tomb Kings. These are vampire counts. Come on, fucko, you're nowhere near your home now. Fuck you, Freya. What do you want, Karakzorn? Okay. Sure. I'll take your defensive alliance. since the green skins have confederated the bloody spears in them. He's doing it. He's going for Liberus. Fuck yeah. That's fine. I can live with this. Just go on. Go for just a... It is just a raise. Oh, God, that hurts. God damn it, that hurts.
And now you, my boys. It is time. I'm gonna hang on to that money. I'm gonna need it. <sighs> yeah, alright, I'll go do food. I need to see if the fucking Tomb King tries to take Liberus, which is going to be the funniest shit. I will walk all over it. And then I will walk into Lamia and take it. And it will be mine. You changed to March. Go what? This is my land. For fuck's sake. This little dickhead. For me to food. It, fine, I will go food. Jeez. So stupid that I just can't stop him from tooling around here. No, wait. Block army. Success. They aren't going fucking anywhere next turn. And then we'll kill them, and that'll be great. But, okay, I'll go eat, make food. Fine. Okay, let's close in. You can hit exit to windows. If you quit now, you lose the unsafe progress, except. <sighs> okay, I'll be closing the stream now. Uh, we'll be back in, I don't know, however long, to do some Urban Arcana. For now, I hope that you've enjoyed watching. And the stream of the VOD, have yourselves a lot of motherfucking good time, and please do take care.